The Volvo S40 T5 all-wheel drive unfortunately was not one of the favorites amongst the editors of this test. Placing 7th out of 7 may lead people to think that all the other cars in the comparison simply wiped their tires all over it and left it for dead. It wasn't that simple. Despite the final standings, the S40 was not a weak performer. It just didn't accomplish anything spectacular. The straight line power from the 2.5 liter turbocharged inline 5 proved its worth, edging out some of the more expensive high enders like Audi, BMW and Lexus. But as we made our way through the backcountry and were throwing some curves, the S40's front end decided to give up altogether, resulting in inevitable understeer, regardless of what you did to avoid it, save pulling the e-brake. Subjecting it to the autocross gauntlet helped to alleviate some of our harsh feelings towards the car, as it demonstrated predictability alongside its floaty nature. This type of behavior inspired editor Mike Monticello to coin the term, the Scandinavian float, which I'm sure has become common lingo one of these days.